boys and girls, and welcome to your first clarinet lesson online. Today we're going to go through your homework paper that you got for your first lesson. Looks like this. On the back of that you have a picture of the mouthpiece that you need to assemble. And then the last page has how to fill out your practicing. So let's start with getting ready, step one. Open your case so that the latches and the label are facing you. So let's do that. Here's my case. Here's my label. It says buffet. Uh, yours may say something different, but notice on my case there's nothing on the other side. There's no label. So I want the label facing me. I also want the latches to be facing me. So I see my label. I see my latches. And I'm going to put my case on the floor because sometimes I've seen a lot of clarinet cases fall to the ground from people's laps. So I'm going to put my case on the floor and I'm going to grab my mouthpiece, the barrel, and a reed. And the mouthpiece should have that metal ligature on it. So I'm going to put it on the floor and grab those things. Mouthpiece, ligature, reed, and barrel. Barrel looks like this. Mouthpiece with the ligature looks like this. And my reed. I'm going to take my reed out of its case very carefully so I don't hurt the tip. Put it in my mouth for a second to get it wet. Now, I would recommend that you watch my other video on how to assemble your clarinet mouthpiece. I'm going to do it very quickly here and I'm not going to give you many directions about it, but the other video is very detailed about how to put your mouthpiece together and still take care of your reed. So I'm going to start putting mine together. Notice that I've closed my case on the floor and left it down there. We don't need anything else out of our case. Alright, so I'm going to put my reed on underneath my ligature, line up the tip, tighten the screws turning away from me, and I want to make sure that my mouthpiece looks like this. And it does. Make sure yours matches. I'm also going to put a little bit of cork grease on my mouthpiece just to make sure I'm taking care of my corks and they're staying in good condition. Put it on, rub it in, and then carefully connect my mouthpiece and my barrel. There we have it. Now, that was assembly of the mouthpiece. I really recommend watching the other video if you have a second to make sure that you're doing your mouthpiece assembly correctly. Step three is posture. We use good posture to make sure we get a good sound and we're getting enough air while we play. I'm sitting on the edge of my chair, my feet are on the floor, and my music stand is a comfortable distance away from me. Now we're going to talk about the embouchure or how our mouths make sound. This is step four. To get started, we're going to stretch out our bottom lip like we're putting on chapstick. It goes over our bottom teeth and then I'm going to put my reed right there on my little bottom lip like this. Then my teeth are going to go on top of my mouthpiece and they're going to touch the mouthpiece cover like this, like a rabbit. Show me your teeth. Very, very good. Now in lessons, if your teeth are not on your mouthpiece, I'm going to go around like this and move your mouthpiece until I can feel your teeth on top. Okay? Then you're going to breathe in through your mouth and out through your mouthpiece. Kind of like this. Bottom lip rolls in, teeth on top, lips closed. Breathe in. And we get that lovely clarinet sound. That's one thing you can torture your siblings with for sure. So let's try that again. Bottom lip rolls in, teeth on top. Breathe in. Now one thing I see a lot of on clarinet is this. I'll show you and then I'll tell you what was wrong with this picture. Bottom lip, teeth. Could you see what was wrong? My cheeks were puffed as I was playing. One really easy, easy way to fix this is to look in a mirror in your house. I have a mirror right here. I'm going to put it on my stand. And as I play, I'm going to try to make sound again. And if my cheeks are puffing, I'm going to pull them in with the side corners of my mouth. So, bottom lip rolled in, teeth on top, close my lips, breathe in. And you heard some funky things happening with the sound. When I brought my cheeks in, it stabilized and got better. Looking in a mirror will help this immensely. If you have trouble with this in your lessons in school, I'll also bring out a mirror and help you with it. But I recommend doing it at home because it's a really easy fix. All 
Alright, let's keep going. So we used a mirror, that can help. And just kind of touch your cheeks every so often to make sure they're not pu puffing out. We're on step five now, things to try. So we've tried playing a long, smooth sound. That's going to make your, your lips and your uh, cheeks really strong. So keep doing that. We also have different ta and tee tee patterns that we learned in class. And we're going to prepare for the longest note competition. So time yourself to see how long you can hold a note for. We're going to move right to the ta and tee tee patterns, which is step six. Try playing these patterns and then make one of your own. First, say the pattern out loud, then play the pattern on your, on your clarinet mouthpiece. So let's start with the first one. It says, ready, go. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. That one should sound really familiar from your music classes. So let's try that one. Bottom lip roll in. Teeth on top. One, two, ready, go. Great job. Let's try the next one. Let's say it out loud first. Ready, go. T, 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 ta, ta. Now let's try playing it. Bottom left roll in, teeth on top. One, two, ready, go. Very nice. The third one we have has a rest in it. I'll say the rest out loud, but you can just think it in your head. So let's say it together first. Ready, go. Ta, ta, rest, ta. Let's try playing it. Bottom lip, teeth, one, two, ready, go. Rest, and that's it. The next step is for you to make up your own ta and tee tee pattern. You could use a rest if you'd like to, be creative, make it something that's just yours, and then we can try playing it in class. That is all of your first clarinet lesson. The only thing we have left is to write down your practicing. On the last sheet that you have, it says day one, day two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you should be practicing five to seven days this week. That might mean that you skip a day here or there, or maybe practice twice in one day. What I'd like you to do is if you've gone through the whole video with me, you've done everything, getting ready, assembly of the mouthpiece, posture, embouchure, which is how our lips make sound, things to try, and ta and tee tee patterns. So you should check off for day one each box to show that you did each step. Only check off the ta and tee tee patterns if you've made up your own pattern yourself. Lastly, at the end of the week, your parents should sign here so that they know and I know that you practiced this week. And if they have any questions, they can write them down here or they can email me anytime. Thank you guys for watching this video with me. I hope it was helpful in your practicing. You can watch it as many times as you need to. I'll see you in your lessons this week, and have a great day.